Hi, I'm Mr. Halford, Head of Computing here at Hagley Catholic High School. I'm here to ask the question, why would you choose a computing qualification? Now there are many things you could do in life, but choosing a computing qualification is going to be one of the best things that you could do here at Hagley. Now we offer two very different options at GCSE. We offer computer science and creative iMedia, or sometimes known as IT. But which one should you choose? There is no easy answer to this question, and a lot of it comes down to the skills that you already have and parts of your education that you already enjoy. However, let's be clear about one thing from the very start. Whichever option you choose, you must be willing to work hard because there is no easy or soft option here. Now, I would like you to consider a car. Most people want to learn to drive. You don't need to know how the car works, but you just want to get from A to B. Creative Eye Media is just that. It develops a skill set so you can drive your computer. You don't care how it works as long as it helps you write the report or do the accounts or create a PowerPoint presentation. However, some people want to know how it works. Just like a car mechanic or an engineer, they want to get underneath the bonnet. They want to understand the basic principles. And this is the equivalent of studying computer science. Getting underneath the computer, learning how it actually works. And so for the remainder of this video, I'm going to be explaining about Creative Eye Media. What it is, what's involved, and what you're going to learn. Now, firstly, Creative Eye Media is a vocational qualification. And it's all about being creative. It's in the name. And so we're exploring the creative industries. We're talking about the film industry, publishing, the media, the World Wide Web. We have a great heritage as a country. And in the creative industries, we have Pinewood Studios for the filming of Harry Potter, to some of the best CGI graphics companies who've done graphics for Star Wars and Marvel, amongst others. And so this is what we use to inspire our students to get into those industries. And what are we looking at? We're looking at planning solutions to these creative industries. Do you want to plan a brand new blockbuster? Which camera angles are you going to need? What is a storyboard for? All of these are part of this fantastic qualification. It's about understanding how to plan in order to meet a client brief. It's about using a range of tools and software to get the job done. There are four assessed units in Creative Eye Media, each one worth 25%, with one exam and three coursework components. The first element is the pre-production skills, and this is an examination unit, and it comprises about learning how to create a product using a client's brief. It could be understanding a storyboard, a mood board, or it could be interpreting the target audience for a product, or even understanding what copyright is. The second unit, is digital graphics. And this is all about creating a digital graphic for a specific scenario set by the exam board. And in previous years, has included CD and DVD covers, as well as poster adverts. The third unit studied in year 11 is video editing. And this is all about creating a video from scratch. Using again a set scenario from the exam board, but we use software such as Adobe Premiere and After Effects. Finally, the fourth unit is website creation, where we use Adobe Dreamweaver to create a website for, again, a scenario given by the exam board using graphics, sound, and video. As you have seen, we use a number of professional grade softwares throughout this course, such as Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects, and Dreamweaver. The first part of the Creative Eye Media course is all about understanding the creative industries. Now, if you have an aspiration to be in the film industry or marketing or branding or IT in general, this is a great course for you to do. However, if you want to become a computer programmer, you definitely should not take this course. But look at my video on computer science GCSE. Now, the Creative Eye Media qualification leads fantastically onto A-level media studies and other related subjects. And if throughout your education you've enjoyed the more creative aspects of computing, such as graphic making, game making, sound and video editing, then this is definitely the course for you. And our students do fantastically well, and on average achieve a grade 1.3 higher than their target. Now nationally, the average grade for a Creative Eye Media student is a 3.6, somewhere halfway between a 3 and a 4. 
However, here at Hagley, we're proud to say that our students on average achieve 5.2. This is down to the hard work and dedication of our staff and students. Now, if you want to find out more about the topics involved in the Creative Eye Media qualification, then we study the OCR J817 qualification, and you can head to their website for further information. If you have any further questions, feel free to email me. My address is on the screen below. Thanks for watching.